Hey guys, so in today's video, we are going to do calculation under a fixed asset. Okay, so guys, when we talk about a fixed asset, some of you, you call it a um, tangible asset. Some of you, you just call it PPE. Some of you, you just call it um, a calculation of depreciation. So this is what we are going to do in this lesson. So basically, if we are, uh, we are talking about a term, this is a term three's work. If we are talking about paper one and paper two, this is paper two's work. Okay, let's look at this question paper that I have uh, for today's lesson. Okay, they said a fixed asset and internal control. The following information is given for you, TH traders, whose financial year end is on 28 February 2019. Okay, and they said that the extract from tri balance, they give us vehicle cost price and equipment and the accumulated depreciation for both vehicle and equipment. Additional information. A. Depreciation is calculated as follow. Depreciation is 20% per annum using a straight line method or cost price method. Okay, equipment, we use diminishing balance method. So basically, these two different uh, method, the first difference is that when we calculate a cost price, we only use what we call a cost price. We don't subtract accumulated depreciation but when it comes to diminishing we must first subtract the previous accumulated depreciation so that we can get what our depreciation all right then the other different in this case is that the percentage that they give us is not the same the other one is 20 percent the other one is 15 percent okay b a new vehicle was purchased on 1 march 20 on 1 november 2018 for 150 cash it was properly recorded. Take note of that. We're going to use it. 4.2.1. Calculate depreciation for new vehicle purchased. Okay. It's number 4.2.1. We're going to calculate depreciation for the new vehicle which was purchased. So, five marks for that. Okay. So, now, how are we going to calculate uh, this new vehicle? A new vehicle which was purchased, we know that it's on information number B. A new vehicle was purchased in one match by amount of 150. 150,000. And remember, they say that a vehicle, we have to use a cost price, which means that no need to subtract depreciation when we calculate what? A, a cost price method. So which means that we just have to multiply by 20%. 20%. Now we have another issue. This vehicle was purchased during the year. It, it never stayed for 12 months, which means that we have to multiply by number of months that this vehicle has stayed. It's always multiplied by a number of months that we're going to count, divide by 12. Okay, let's count those months. It was purchased 1 November, and our year is ending 28 February, which means that it's going to be November. December, January, February, four months, okay? Which means that uh, if we do this calculation, it's gonna give us amount of 10,000. Then it will be done. Five marks, three, three five marks. Once they say that a vehicle, equipment, what, what, any assets that was bought during the year, make sure that you count a month so that you can get exactly correct the answer of the depreciation. Okay, 4.2.1, 4.2.2, calculate depreciation for old vehicle, 4.2.2. Old vehicle, remember, we calculated for new vehicle, now we have to calculate for old. How do we calculate for old? Number one, the one which was recorded on top is 250,000, but this 250,000, has included a new one because the new one they said it was properly recorded we must subtract it first because we we, we have already recorded it we must subtract 150000 so that we can left with what 100000 of the old one then we multiply by 20% okay which is going to give us 20000 another 5 marks for free okay now moving to the next one. Calculate depreciation for equipment for the year. Now we are done with vehicles. We are going to equipment. 
4.3 equipment let's take equipment price it was 210 the cost price and accumulated is 16000 remember we are using diminishing balance and diminishing balance or carrying value method we have to take what cost minus accumulated after before we multiply by the percentage and the cost price is how much uh, it's 250 thousand then we said minus 16 of accumulated then after that we're gonna get amount of 194,000 then we multiply by 15% for equipment is 15% then we're gonna get amount of 29,000 100 then it was allocated five marks these things are free marks guys free marks diminishing balance method subtract the previous accumulated first cost price just multiply by the percentage only unless if it is new that's where you're going to do it to multiply a month a very simple stuff okay before we go to the last one uh, if you have been watching my channel for a very long time guys please subscribe let's reach uh, 25,000 subscribers in 2024 so that in next year by 2025 when you go to grade 11 we'll be celebrating a 50,000 so it's possible if you subscribe and also guys those who want to join our extra class where you will be able to get consultants on whatsapp and what what please make sure that you text us on time communicate with your parents that you we have online class from accounting solution sa that can assist us with accounting until we reach grade 12 so that we can get a, a distinctions so you have to join from now so that we can teach you from basic until grade 12. okay the last one they said provided to control measure to be put in a place to guard uh, against the abuse of the hacker okay the question was say that provide the two control measures that the owner can put into place as he is concerned that some of the employees are abusing the vehicle. Okay. Now, uh, the owner noticed that some employees are abusing vehicle and equipment and there is no measure. Let's put a measure. We want two points in this case. 4.2 24 number one we have to make sure with that we have a logbook in other words a person or employee must sign in and out must sign in and out you don't have to just to drive a car of the business without signing in you have to sign in so that we can see that oh nandipa is the one who was using the vehicle so if the petrol is overused we are going to blame her so that's how this measure work okay number two they call the vehicle and equipment in a safe place like if we have to make sure that we have a picking for vehicle uh, where we put our equipment are very safe no one can steal it so that's how we can do it to put a control so that we can have a good control in our in our business so lastly guys if you want to get a questions like this make sure that you purchase our study guide uh, which is going to help you to get many questions so that you can read with solutions so the guide that we have at the moment guys because the printout is very expensive you can buy the printed out one because it's gonna cost more than 400 so we created the simple one which is going to cost only 100 rand which is soft copy in terms of pdf so it's only 100 rand you can text us on whatsapp so that you can get one immediate so i'm gonna see you on the next one